<laughs> quit cheating. Literally, quit cheating. He's cheating, everybody. <laughs> hey guys, um, Mike and I decided, more like I decided, <laughs> to do the husband wife tag. Um, I thought it would be a good way for you guys to get to know us um, and like kind of like our backstory, how we met and all of that. Um, I typically don't do tags. Um, I've been tagged in quite a few and I just, that's not what my channel's about. Um, but I thought the husband wife one was a good one. It's not wrong. <laughs> so like I said, you guys could get to know us better. Um, so I went through and I have them on the laptop here so I'll have to keep glancing down to it because obviously I don't have them memorized. There's 25 of them. So without further ado, here we go. Okay. Let's see how much he knows. He has the worst memory ever. I know. What Literally the worst memory ever. <laughs> okay. This one I know he knows. How and where did we meet? Street corner. <laughs> no. At Applebee's. At Applebee's yeah, in New Jersey. I was going to college in New Jersey. Um, it was my first ever job other than babysitting. Um, and he had just moved back to New Jersey and was working there. So that's how we met. <laughs> what was your first impression? <laughs> you were too young. Really? Mm -hmm. If you don't know, he's 10 years older than me. Um, so I was 18 and he was 28. Um, was my 27 technically. Okay. Were you? Mm-hmm. It was fall. Because it was, wasn't 28. No, it wasn't fall. I moved after Christmas. So you were 28. Oh, then I was 28. Yeah. Hmm. Literally, I didn't move till after Christmas. So yeah, he was 28 and I was 18. Hmm. He's trying to like justify <laughs> dating someone so young. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I still lied about his age because I was so nervous that they were like going to be so mad, which was silly. I think I said that he was like 26, so I only knocked off like two years, but... <laughs> I never really dated, you know, throughout my life until him. I don't know. I was nervous. Okay. Anyways, moving along. Um, my first impression of you. Um, this sounds so cliche. Um, I know, but the first time I saw him, I turned, and you know it's true. I turned to um, my friend Stephanie, and I was like, I'm going to marry that guy. Um, and I never said that about anybody previously or anything like that. I just... Awful cocky. Yeah, I was. Like, I just knew, which is crazy because we had never even spoke. Like, literally, we hadn't even spoke at that point. You were standing like, you know, Applebee's, how they have the ramps going down into the bar area? I don't know if they all still... Well, I guess some of them do. I don't know. Well, anyways, back then, they all had ramps to go down into the bar. And he was standing there, and he had a, a little, I say toboggan. <laughs> I had a sled on my head. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's a hat. From... In West Virginia, we say toboggan, but anyways, yeah, he had like West one Virginia. of those, like, what do you call them? A scully? It's a hat. A hat. A winter hat. A winter hat on. <laughs> um, so, I just knew, like, my, so my first impression was obviously like, oh yeah, this is going down. Should have played the lottery that day. <laughs> right? I did win the lottery, babe. <laughs> Don't say it. So there's cheap one dollar scratch offs. You want another ticket. <laughs> Where was our first date? TGIF. Yeah, it was um, TGIF, and I was a nervous wreck. And like to backstory that, I actually asked him out first. And once again, if you know me, you know that's like not me. Um, I'd never even gone out on a date with anybody, but I asked him, and he was in New York visiting his dad and I was like devastated because I was like he rejected me like you know I was 18 I had no clue guys and I was like he doesn't like me like I was so dramatic um but as soon as he got back in town he called me and was like hey you know if you're not doing anything I'd love to like go to dinner and a movie and I was like oh my gosh he called me but um we just went to dinner. no we, we yeah we went to the movie we saw um with Johnny Depp uh, the Secret Window or something like that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. So we did. We went to dinner in the movie. Um, first date. Yeah. So that's kind of where it was. And I wouldn't even eat. And if you know me, I am a big eater. I was so nervous and weird. I was such a weirdo. I made him talk to my mom. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> my mom called like in the middle that of That should have been a deal breaker <laughs> right there. 
called and um, she was like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm out on a date. And I'm like, oh, you want to talk to him? And I just hand him the phone. You know, who does that? But I was so young. <laughs> I was 18. I had no clue. That's my Here. excuse when I'm sticking to it. dead silence. Yeah. No, we talked a lot. Yeah. yeah, we talked a lot, but I didn't eat a lot because I was so nervous. I tricked him because now he's like, go Lord, lady. <laughs> I eat more than he does. Okay. So anyways, moving on. When did you meet my family? Shortly thereafter. I don't really... Yeah, it was a few weeks maybe after we started. And I came up to visit you. Yeah. Um, and the poor guy. <laughs> you have to know my family. They're all like extremely funny. Well, he is walking... Funny. That's the word for him. I was living in a house, and um, he was walking out of the garage, and there was like a big step down. Well, I don't think he realized <laughs> that there was a step down, and so he just splattered plate and all. So my mom, being the funny person she is, she acts like she's offended that he dropped her food. <laughs> So he was like mortified and I borderline wanted to kill my mom too because it was such a new relationship, you know, and even though I had done crazy things to scare him away, like, I was like, oh God, he's going to hate my family. Like how long have we, oh wait, no, I didn't talk about how I met your mom. The first time I met his mom, she was getting off work and he had borrowed her vehicle and so he was returning it to her. So I met his mom at Home Depot, <laughs> which is such a weird place to meet a mom. Um... But yeah, I'm at her at Home Depot. The worst part is we were right by the stud finders and they all went off when I walked in. <laughs> no. No? I love you, but no. <laughs> okay, how long have we been together? Relationship and then marriage. 14 and 7. Yeah. We dated for 7 years before we got married. Um, and we've been married for 7, so a total of 14. Um, how do we resolve problems? You tell me what to do. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I think... I, yes, Peter. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think we're pretty good at communicating, right? We, like, talk through the problem. Sure. No? Well, say your thoughts. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys, he's just trying to please me right now. <laughs> no, we do. Yeah, we do. I mean, every once in a while, I'll be, like, a big baby, and I'll be like, mm, you know, and I don't want to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, but sometimes you just need a little bit of time to... Calm down because you don't want to say things that you're going to regret even though I'm not really like that type of person. And we don't call each other names or anything like that. We don't yell at each other. Um, but, I mean, yeah. I feel like we communicate really, really well. Whether or not he agrees. <laughs> what key elements make a successful relationship and marriage? I'll go first. Please. God. Um, I feel like we notice such a big difference when we are not involved right like when we have kind of not taken God out of our lives but we don't have him at the forefront um when we're not going to church and just being in his word and stuff like that I feel like we our relationship suffers from that so the key relationship for us um is God would you agree ditto ditto do you want to add any more nope what do you love about me? <laughs> this is a family show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mm. Sense of humor. My sense of humor? Mm -hmm. Huh. Interesting. I wouldn't have expected that one. Yeah, because you laugh at everything I say. Yeah, I do. I'm a giddy person. And especially after 9 o'clock. Not just really. ask my she sister. She doesn't laugh at everything I say. <laughs> yes, I do. Usually she ignores me. <laughs> yeah, I do. But he has little puns. All the time, um, and you eventually just, you don't hear them anymore. It's like when your kids are screaming in the background and it just becomes background noise. <laughs> like, that's what it is for me. <laughs> background, background noise. noise. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. Um, I, what I love about you is your, and I always make up words, um, so this I'm sure should this, be good. it's not a word, but your caringness. <laughs> Like, how you put other people before yourself always. Like, you always yeah. are, yes, you do. You're yeah. always putting us before your needs or wants. That's my job. It's not your job. It is my job. Oh, I love you. <laughs> but that's what I love about him is he's always putting us and other people before himself and his own needs. So. 
like sleep. I could be sleeping right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. What is he doing? Okay, children. Jays. And how many do we want? Obviously, the answer is yes to children. We have three. We have three boys. Um, six, three, and almost eighteen months. Um, how many? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. Is he? I don't even know how old my baby is, guys. No, okay. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> you don't know how old our baby is. <laughs> Can't do math. <laughs> okay, um, tell them how many kids you want. 700. No. Two. <laughs> Mike. I want four. Mm. He wants a lot more than me. Um, uh, depends on the day. Yeah, but his number basically revolves around one of the baseball team. Yeah, all boys. Yeah, no. If you want a girl, it has to be ten. <laughs> I don't know that I'm. I mean, not that I would care to have a girl, but I'm. I'm a boy mom. Like I have three boys at this point, and having a girl would be like starting all over. And I feel like that would be extremely hard. So, but yeah. And everyone says boys are easier. Yeah, they do. They say maybe they're a little bit harder when they're younger, but as they grow, boys are a lot easier. So. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, I I want four. I think I stated that right. So I want four and you want like nine. Who wants a baseball team? It's not happening. We'll see. <laughs> no way, Jose. What is my favorite food? Or, yeah. That's like asking a fish if it likes to be wet. I knew that was gonna be your answer and that's correct. I love food. I love lots of food. Um, I'd say that your favorite food is boneless wings. Right? No? Mm, maybe. Pizza? Pizza? That's probably mine, to be honest. If I had to narrow it down, I would say pizza. I would think that yours is boneless wings, but I was wrong. I don't know. He doesn't even Depends know. Depends on the day. I'm saying I'm right. I'm saying boneless wings. <laughs> He's poking me under the table. <laughs> what are you doing? Are uh, you? Okay. What food do I not, or what food do we not like? Yours you is like cabbage. <laughs> we both knew that one. You don't like cabbage, I don't like seafood. So, we knew that one pretty fast. Daddy! I don't, I don't know if you'll get this one right or not. Who is my best friend? You're not being tricky with it and saying me, it's Amy. I was gonna say you, no. you are. No. Yes. No. Can't be tricky with that. It's not that's tricky, not what they want but that's my answer. Okay. Okay, but yeah, Amy. If you're watching this, hi, Amy! <laughs> okay, your best friend I would say is Gindy. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Gindy. Okay. Even though I see him like once every seven years. Yeah, well, because he lives on the other coast. He lives nowhere near us. And that's just the way I am. Yeah. He's a lame friend, guys. <laughs> He's crazy. What is something I do... That you wish that I wouldn't. <clears throat> I know his right off hand. Have you ever heard this man cough? You probably have not. Mm. He is so dramatic and it literally... <laughs> it angers me. It literally mm. angers me because it's so loud and ridiculously over the top. And he like does this like clearing throat thing like at the same time. <laughs> yeah, like... Get over it. Yeah, I do. I've been with you for 14 years now. Okay, what do I do <clears throat> that you wish I wouldn't? I'm nervous. What's like something that I do like on a regular basis? I'm just perfect, right? You have nothing that's your I'm answer? I'm just trying to narrow it down. <laughs> I don't... Mm, I don't know. Jace, watch the cord. Okay. I don't know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's because I'm perfect, guys. <laughs> you can't come over like this way. <laughs> Weird habits of each other. I know what you're going to say for me. What's one weird habit that I have? You hate it and you get so mad and I get mad at you. Oh, you're a freaking picker. I am. Oh. I am a picker. Ooh. I I can't leave if stuff you alone. you have anything on your body, she will pick it off of you. I will like Scab like zits and stuff like that. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Like I like, and he doesn't necessarily mind, but he gets mad when I use my nails. <laughs> so no. Yeah, I mind all the time. Yeah, he does, but I force him. I bribe him. I don't know that you have a weird 
I don't think you have a weird one. Oh, look at that. So disrespectful. <laughs> I don't think he has a weird one. So, yeah. I mean, you do weird things, I've but they're, done a weird thing but they're like random. Life. They're not like something that he does like continually. I don't know. So we'll move on. What is my favorite restaurant? You can't narrow that down. Yeah, that one's hard. Um, yeah, favorite restaurants. I mean, I love pretty much anything. Italian, Mexican, American. Um, yeah, I love it. He's smirking. I have no idea what he's thinking. Reading ahead. Oh, are you? Who? Oh, we skipped one. So we gotta go back. What do we argue the most about? I Eating out. Yes, that's my answer to him. I love to eat out. I hate to cook. It, yeah, and I used to like tell myself for years, oh, I just hate cooking because you have to clean the mess up afterwards. No, I don't enjoy cooking. Like, there you go. I've said it out loud now. <laughs> like, I don't. I hate it. I do. I, I don't enjoy it. And I would eat out all day, every day, if this one would let me. Yeah, I'd be really and sick to my stomach for the rest of my life, but it would be worth it. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah. What can I spend hours doing? Sleeping. Yeah. I like my sleep, which I do not get enough of, and you have to. I don't rarely nap, and... Me either. The dude naps every day. I get so mad. I'm like up all I night with the baby and all of that, and he... She can just... You can just sit on the couch and pass out. True story. <laughs> no, it's I not. I can't do it. You can't, but mm. I can't necessarily either. Me too. <laughs> no. Oh, you. What you spend hours doing. I, the internet, but not just like aimlessly on the internet, either couponing or um, auctions. You could spend hours couponing and now looking up auctions. deals. Yeah, but currently it's auctions. <coughs> um, he could spend hours on there just trying to find really cool, it's unique stuff. Football. What? Okay, so um, for the husband and wife tag, we are actually going to tag the kitchen wife um, and Caitlin's tribe. I feel like that would be um, good ones. If you don't know them or you've never been to their channels, I will link them down below. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be fun for them. And we did it. Woo, and we're still married and we're still smiling and happy. <laughs> no. Hey. You guys saw that first. He was going to abuse me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope it's not too long. I'm pretty sure it's like 26 minutes. So That's we may crazy. have to, yeah. we may have 26 to, minutes of your life you'll never get back. <laughs> it's a good way to let our viewers who don't know us get to know us. Um, but, yeah, we may, like, cut it down and not do all of them. But we'll see. We'll see, and this is ending it, so you won't know that till afterwards. We are done. We hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you guys have a good rest of your day, night, depending on where you are. We have viewers in other countries across the world. So, yeah. Have a good day, guys. Adios.